Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to talk about mounting your wheel and tire package to your vehicle. When mounting your new wheel and tire package on your vehicle, there's a few things I want to emphasize. One thing is, is stay away from impact guns. You know, you, you spend a lot of money on these new wheels and tires. Uh, last thing you want to do is go ahead and mar up your new wheels that you spent a lot of money on uh, with an impact gun by over tightening the lug nuts or, or fracturing the wheel by over tightening them or whatever it may be. Um, there's a few things you're going to need to go ahead and mount the new wheels and tires properly. The main things you're going to want to have on hand is a torque wrench, of course, so that you can go ahead and properly torque the wheels down. If you do not properly torque your wheels down, you can end up warping your rotors if you over tighten them or if you do not also tighten the wheels in the proper sequence. And the other thing, of course, you're going to need is your new lug nuts, and you want to make sure those lug nuts go ahead and match that wheel that you're installing. When installing your lug nuts on your new wheel package, uh, the, the one suggestion I'm going to make is that make sure you go ahead and tighten them down all finger tight first. Uh, this will assure that none of the threads are cross threaded um, and, and that you're not weakening the studs by cross threading the, uh, those stud assemblies. Uh, once you get them all snugged down, uh, past that point you always want to use a crisscross pattern to go ahead and tighten down the lug nuts. This will assure that you evenly torque the wheel down. Um, and what I would do is I would start with just a, a base setting. Now you can do this with your torque wrench assembly, um, which, which I, is the preferred method, but you can also just do it with a ratchet to go ahead and just do the initial uh, tightening of the lug nuts. Past that point, each stud size and some of the different lug nut types out there are actually going to have different torque settings. Um, a typical conical seat on a 716 stud usually is going to be between 100 to 110 foot pounds. Um, some, of, some of your larger stud assemblies and some of your there are larger lug nuts, maybe 120, 140, all depending on what that vehicle specifications are. Keep an eye out for other videos on wheels and tires. Thanks for watching.